And just a reminder, uh, Hillary Clinton is actually not a pro-choice candidate. Um, if we define choice um, as, you know, a woman's right to choose, um, that is not her position. Um, even when she um, agrees with um, access to abortion, it's not on a choice basis. It's through some other um, argument, um, like health, um, and etc. And in fact, she is on record many times over many years as stating that she will put restrictions on access to abortion. Meaning that if you vote for Hillary Clinton, you are voting for access, for, sorry, for restrictions to access to abortion. You might not realize it, but you are. So you might want to tone down the identity politics just a little and take a closer look at what you're actually buying. You may be disappointed in what it actually is. Again, a vote for Hillary Clinton is a vote for restrictions on abortion. And she has stated herself that on many occasions. Um, she said it at the, uh, the debate the other day. Um, and if you look, if you do the research, um, which, you know, it, you know, beyond, you know, the, the right-wing talking points that you see on TV, you do some actual research and you look at what she actually thinks, um, it is not at all hidden. Um, you're not, you know, mucking through the dirt in any way. She's very open and transparent about the fact that she um, actively supports restrictions on abortion and that when she does um, support abortion, it's not on a choice basis. It's on a, it's on a health basis. Okay. And in fact, most of the reasons that you might think you want to vote for her out of fear will actually not hold up to any real scrutiny on your behalf if you bother to take the time to look into it. She's not particularly keen on the gay either, in fact. So you might think that, you know, you want to vote for gay rights, you'll... It, she's not. Okay, she never has been particularly keen on the gay. She's pretty right-wing. Um, you know, pretty family values. Um, kind of kind of a little bit of a fundamentalist Christian, actually. Nor does she particularly like black people. And if you look into that, that's pretty clear. Uh, you know, and I can rent for a while. You know, these values issues. But hey, if you don't know this yet, you know, what's the point? You know, if we're going to do this, are we going to reduce the election to this, you know, identity politics nonsense, to this, you know, this uh, values war? Um... You might be surprised to find out that, 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 that Clinton is pretty conservative on most of these things, and that, in fact, um, Trump could very easily um, come out on her left um, on a number of these issues. Okay, if this is a values war election, um, or sorry, like, like a culture war election, um, and you're on the left of the culture war, Hillary Clinton is just about the worst spokesperson that you could imagine, because she doesn't agree with any of it. She's on the right on issue after issue after issue. So you want to reduce it to this? This is what you're voting on? You might want to take a close, what you're, a close look at what you're doing because you might not get what you bought. And how about support for capital punishment too? Jeez. What a bleeding heart, huh? Trump, tr Trump wants to ban Muslims from entering the country. Hillary wants to carpet bomb them in their own countries then brag about there not being any casualties. That's smart power. And, and, you, and you think Hillary is less racist somehow? Amazing. You should get some kind of award for that, for you to actually look at that information and conclude that Hillary is less of a racist. That's remarkable. Amazing. She also supports mass deportations of illegal immigrants, by the way. Are you sure this is your horse in the culture of war? This is, this, this is who you want to represent you? your liberal side of this d discussion. This is your representative. Are you sure about that? 